Today we are going to be talking about generating animated GIFs or GIFs. Um, however you say it, I really don't care. I always said GIF and then I heard that the creator of, of GIFs calls it GIFs, so I kind of feel like I should call it GIFs since that's what he calls it. Uh, whatever you want to call it. GIF files, animated ones. Um, and how do you create them on your phone? How do you create them on your phone? Um, and uh, so what I'm saying is I take a video clip of my kids, I want to take a few seconds of that, and make an animated loop that I can then share with people. Uh, well, the way I did it for a while was first using Giphy, Giphy.com. I'm sure that's, that's G-I-P-H-Y.com. And I'm sure many of you have probably seen GIFs from this website, or, or GIFs from this website. So is it, is, it, is it Jiffy? Is that the name of the site, or is it Giphy? I guess I would have to ask the creators of this website. Anyway, they make it very easy. You go there, it's, it's a, they have a nice mobile interface. You click plus. Of course, they're probably going to want you to install your app, which why would you do that? Uh, you can take on an Android device, there, you, know, you get options for take a photo or video or upload from your camera roll. On an Android device, it doesn't matter. Both those buttons do the same thing. You click that and ask whether you want to open your application, your camera application camcorder application or your files. I usually have the video recorded, I click files, I choose it. Uh, before that though, I'll usually go in to whatever, you know, um, video, uh, video app editing application I have on my phone and I usually trim it down there just to save size because you're going to be uploading it to this website. But once you upload it, they do give you an option to trim on both ends of the video. And then it also gives you options for overlaying text and adding effects and sticker, little animated stickers. And that's the nice thing about this website is that sort of thing. Um, but uh, one of the big drawbacks is you're uploading to a website, which of course a lot of people don't want to do. You don't want, you, maybe, maybe you don't want to share it with them. And, and of course, uh, it, there's the whole, what's my internet connection like? And I had time, most times that worked great for me, but if I was somewhere with a slow internet connection, sometimes it would take forever to upload a 10 second video. Um, usually I try to trim them down to two or three seconds, but there's that. Um, also, I like seamless loops. I like, I like when my videos, uh, you know, there, there are little animated GIFs or GIFs loop, and they look at least close to seamless. Um, which I did a lot with this. I would hold the camera very steady when I would trim it in my video editor. I would hit stabilize, which would help sometimes. And I would try to do the, have the person or whoever do something that was somewhat of a loop, uh, like waving. And then I try to cut it so it starts here and ends here. Or, yeah, goes like that and then stops. And So that was a bit of an issue. Another website doesn't look as nice. The interface isn't as nice. I know you can't really see it here. Um, is easy... GIF or GIF.com. That's easy GIF.com. It's another website where you can upload again. It's not as nice looking as, as Giphy, but you can upload a video clip. You can also upload an animated GIF and convert it to, I'm just going to call them GIFs for the rest of the video. <laughs> animated GIFs and convert them to, to MP4. Although it's not as nice and it doesn't have the, the fun little stickers and animations you can put over your animations, it does give you a lot of nice features as far as um, you can crop the image, you can um, change like the frame rate, uh, how it's compressed to try to optimize it. It also has the whole, and it does have effects, it has, it has a lot of things on here. You can resize it. Uh, it looks like there is an ad text, but I bet it's not as fancy as the, the, the Giphy website. Uh, but one of the things I liked about this was it had a forward and back, a reverse option. So I could make an animated GIF of uh, someone going mm -hmm. and then I just click forward and reverse and it would it would or actually I could I'd make a video of someone going mm -hmm. and then you like the sound effects mm -hmm. and then I would reverse it so it would be mm -hmm. of course without the sound once it's a, a gif mm -hmm. and so the video would just be them doing this and it made it seamless and sometimes that works it depends on how you film it you try to think about it while you're filming it how you're going to loop this um, but it's me I just love a nice animated uh, gif that seamlessly uh, loops. Um, so that's one of the things I like that. But the problem with this and the problem with Giphy both are that you have to upload to a website which has the drawback of internet speeds but also the drawback of what if I don't want to upload my my animated my videos and animated GIFs to these websites. Um, uh, the, the easy GIF I don't think they they have a thing where you can search through. That doesn't mean they're not storing it. I haven't read through their rights and you know 
regulations and stuff on their site. Giphy, when you're using the mobile web page, you get to the very end, they give you the anime GIF, and then there's a, a upload to Giphy, which it's already uploaded, it's already on their server, but it's like a last button that like posts it, so I, I'm assuming if you don't click that, because you can download it without clicking that, that it's not posting it to their site, but it's still on their servers, and a lot of people would have problems with that, and I completely understand that. So what is another option? Something that's quicker, I don't have to upload. Uh, I can just quickly issue a command and get it. That's what we're going to talk about in the next video. So I hope you're enjoying this series on uh, surviving Android. And uh, don't worry if you're looking for shell script tutorials. We're going to have one in the next video uh, on an Android device. Uh, but then we're also going to, I have a lot of shell script videos coming up later this month or early next month, depending on when I post these. So. I thank you very much for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Um, be sure to check it out. It's Chris with a K. Did I say that? Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. At my website, you can search through all my videos from this channel and my other channel, which is mainly a hardware channel. When I say hardware, I mean like Arduinos and ESP chips and that sort of stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And I hope that you watch the next video. Have a great day.